Welcome back. We are on lesson number seven of your first info product. And in this lesson, we are going to talk about writing your sales copy or copywriting and creating your sales video if you decide to do that. The reason we need to do copywriting is because that's how you sell your product to your audience. The same principles that I talk about here that are key to effective copywriting are also going to translate and correlate into effective sales videos as well. Your sales page or your sales video or your sales copy, that's how it's all referred to in this business, it's how you sell your product. Use your sales copy or sales video to sell what you have to sell your customers on why they need to purchase your info product. It's how you persuade the website visitors and the traffic you're getting to buy your product. Anyone can become a good copywriter with practice and that's something really important to keep in mind is that if you practice effective sales copywriting you will quickly become a really good sales copywriter. That means you're going to have better conversions. Your products are going to sell really well. Perfecting good copy or sales video conversions will make you go far with your online business because if you can increase your conversions just slightly you can maximize your revenues tremendously. We're going to cover the elements of good conversion, getting sales letters, and videos on the next few slides. And so it's really important that you pay attention here because in this lesson, you're now at the spot where you need to start writing and creating your sales copy, your sales material, and putting it together so you can effectively launch your own info product. So with copywriting, we like to start off with what's called the AIDA basics. Now this also applies to sales videos as well. ADA is the basis for all good sales message. It's an acronym which stands for attention. You first must get your audience's attention to read your sales letter or message. So that's where you see the headline that's so vital and so important. Your headline should draw them in. So if you're at any sales page or any sales copy that you've seen, they usually have a highly effective headline on there. Same thing goes if you're looking at advertisements in magazines and you're flipping through a magazine on an airplane or something and you see an ad that pops out, that's because it was an effective headline. The headline is intended to draw you in to that sales copy. The top paid copywriters, they spend most of their time on the headline because it's that important. If you think of it, if you spend all the time on Every, on writing the best sales letter in the world but you really don't spend a lot of time on your headline and nobody reads the rest of your great sales copy then what good was it right so you need to focus 100 percent of your attention on the headline that's so vital you can peak interest with benefits here so you can peak the audience's interest with benefits so add in benefits like what are they going to get from your product finally you can break free from the rat race of your regular job and start earning real income online that'd be a great example of a benefit know your market know what makes them tick know what you need to do to get their attention you can also follow the interest at right after that's the next part after attention so first thing is get their attention a good headline does that a good sub headline a good opening to your sales video Grab them into your copy with the compelling story that kind of hooks them as to what kind of material you can provide to people. Let them know why they need your product, so instantly give them that hook. Why do they need their your product? Why is it going to benefit them? How is it going to make their life better? Those are things you need to keep in mind. How is it going to improve their life? How is going through your product going to change their outlook on life? Desire, building up the desire, is the next part of the ADA formula. In the desire phase, you want to paint a picture of their mind about how their life will be better once they've acquired your course, your training, whatever it is you're offering and selling. Be very specific here, very specific examples. And so, you know, as far as painting the life goes, you don't just want to say your life's going to be better. You might want to say, imagine taking that vacation that you've always wanted and you take your family to Disneyland and you go and enjoy time and you don't have to worry about money. That would be a very specific example because you're painting in their mind a very specific picture of what they're going to get as a benefit from going through your course or let's say you're doing a course on how to look better and get in better shape and you could say you know imagine how your spouse is going to look at you finally after you get fully in shape and go through this course 
offering a guarantee can really up the desire as well because that makes people think, all right, if this doesn't work for me, I still have a way out. I still have a guarantee. And then the action phase. This is where you encourage your audience to purchase your offer. It's so important that you do this and really call for that sale. Do not be afraid to sell. Do not be afraid to ask for that sale. Do not be afraid to say, take action right now if you're serious about taking your business to the next level. So these are the main components of good copywriting messages. You can review Review this, come back to this, but as you create your copy, make sure you keep in mind the ADA formula. As you're creating your copy as well, there are some questions you want to ask. Now, we talked about it as, as we went into knowing your target audience. We talked about, you know, as you're creating your product outline, knowing who you're creating your info products for, but you want to know who are your prospective customers? What issues are they struggling with, and how can your product benefit them? What are their desires, their needs, their occupations, their ages? Understanding these things help you become a more effective copywriter. How is your product or service different from the market? So think of things that can differentiate yourself. Think deep about what makes your product better than the rest so you can tell people exactly what makes it better from the, reve what, from the best products out there. Review their products or sales pages. See what your competition is actually selling out there. Why should the pros prospect have faith in you? Why should your audience potentially want to buy from you? Think of that question. And if you're sincere, professional, you create confidence in your background, people are going to see that. They're going to naturally develop that faith in who you are. But just think to yourself, why should my prospects have faith in me? Is it my story? Is it my background? What can I offer them that's going to change their life? Personalize your message to your audience, just like you're talking to a friend. It's really important. And empathize by showing that you care about their particular situation that they happen to be going through. You can persuade with benefits to give a person a logical, compelling reason to buy. Give them all the benefits of the world as to you know how your product's going to change their life, how it's going to benefit them drastically. Prove your trustworthiness or believability with testimonials, with pictures. Those types of things really stand out. Pictures of yourself, screenshots of what you what you did, maybe results from your fitness, your you know what you did after you worked out, maybe results that you did after going through your training, maybe results that you've had, you know, in your life. Those types of things create that believability. What are all the benefits your product or service adds to the consumer? Don't confuse this with the features here. Benefits are way different from the features. Benefits are what they get from using your, your product. So that would be financial freedom, weight loss, vacations, no longer having to work a regular 9 to 5 job, free time, time with family. Features are things like number of pages, how many you know hours of video are in this training course, how many video lessons are there. Those are the features. But make sure that you know all the benefits of your product. Your headline should really draw people in with a good benefit. That's really important. And you want to paint an image of your customers of the life after your product. So imagine, you want them imagining in their mind after they've gone through your course how their life is going to be transformed, how their, their you know, life is going to be different. What might your customers' objections be? Walk in your customer's shoes for a moment. Think of questions that you have before purchasing. Point out negatives and turn those into positives. So think of all the things they're going to be objecting and turn those into positives. Research your target market. Look at forums with product reviews that show common objections. So find those common products in your niche. And especially if you're selling your info product on ClickBank, you'll see the top sellers in your category. You can do a Google search for that and review in the word forum. So you could say, you know, let's say the product's called Bodybuilding Today. Bodybuilding Today review forum and then see what forums pop up for that and you're going to see people's very honest opinions of the products and you'll see the common objections that they have for why somebody shouldn't buy that product you can integrate those objections into your copy and use that as a way to kind of turn people in your favor why should your prospect act now that's very a simple question but you want to give them a reason to buy now examples of that could be a special price could be a value-added bonus could be a very unique opportunity could be you're taking away a bonus if they don't take action they can't afford to keep suffering from their problem and need to act fast. I mean, if you're in a, doing a back pain product and, you know, or you're doing a product about grief and getting over grief and bad situations, honestly, that you don't even need to say the price is going away. Your reason that they should act is simply, 
They simply can't afford to keep suffering from their problem. They can't afford to keep battling the depression. They can't afford, you know, to keep going through the anguish. They can't afford to keep struggling with their online business and they need to act fast. So give them a reason to act quickly. Always use a reader-friendly font whenever you're writing your sales copy. So I like to start writing my sales copy in like a Word document, and then I will actually convert it over into a page builder tool that we'll talk about in one of the next lessons. And so I like to use basic fonts when I'm publishing it on my main websites, whether it's using Optimize Press or Lead Pages. They actually have really good font choices, but if you are going to go on your own, like with an HTML page, look at those traditional fonts like Arial, the Verdant, Courier New, Times New Roman, Tahoma, easy to read, black font on a white or light colored background, those work best for kind of drawing people in. Highlight your hot button phrases. So as you're writing your copy, you might want to you want to bold phrases that really jump out. So hot buttons are the phrases that really drive home a point to your audience. And these are the words that should stand out for your audience. You can make them bold, italic, you can underline them, use different colors, different size, or highlight it in yellow, for example, to really drop out or pop out. Make your headline pop and grab attention for people. It's already been mentioned, but that's where you're, it's very vital to get the attention. So try to promise some kind of benefit or reward for reading that page. And it should lure the reader into your copy, giving them that reason. What's the key benefit? You know, quit struggling once and for all with your info products or struggling with not having, you know, enough money in the bank and follow this simple step by step system to success. For example, if you're creating a headline, a bad headline might be send large files to your friends. Like let's pre pretend you had a file sharing website. But a good headline would be the easiest, most trusted way to send super large files. Or this makes all other file sharing applications obsolete. Those are a lot better headlines. It's not just files, they're super large files. And not just a way, it's the easiest and most trusted way. And that's why it draws people in. Create reader-friendly paragraphs in your copy. So as you're writing it in the Word document, before you convert it over to the page builder, you want to make sure it's chopped up into short paragraphs. I like to restrict it to four to six lines each. People have a very short attention span online, and they like to skim when they're reading copy. And if you give them a big, long paragraph, they're going to leave your page, and they're going to miss out of you know some really important points that you have to make. So stay clear of long you know 10 to 12 line paragraphs. Vary the length of your paragraphs as you go through the process. Draw attention and promote continued reading with subheadlines and more. Subheadlines are typically are bolded or different color. So a subheadline could go right below your main headline and gives people another benefit for why they should read your copy. Bullet points do a good job. You see them in sales copy. That's where you can actually give people some key selling points. You know, numbers do well, like top five reasons they should take action now. And typically these are going to be centered like your bullets, your numbers, your subheadline. Try to not overuse subheadlines, you know, throughout your copy. Try to not go overboard on bolding and other, you know, coloring features because that's going to limit their effectiveness in your copy. As you're writing sales copy, another good tip to, to go through is to create hope for people. That's convenience, comfort, relief from pain, you know, whether it's emotional or physical pain or stress in their life. Just really create that era of hope, you know, that your product's convenient for them. It's creating comfort. It's creating relief from the problems they have. Give them hope that your offer can help them tremendously. Create a sense of urgency for why they need to be acting. Add incentives uh, to your offer and take those away. Possibly take away a bonus. Let them know about a future price increase if you have that. And I'm reiterating some of these points because it's so important as you're going through your copywriting. So creating that urgency is big. Being the authority is another really important part. Really drive home that you're there to help them. Drive home why they should listen to you. What kind of things have you done in the past that makes people want to you know, purchase your products? Demonstrate anything you can show to show that you are an authority in that niche market that you're creating a product on. Study effective sales copy is another good strategy. This is one area that I actually like to study because I can always be better at it. Spending time on the weekends or a little bit each day to read what top copywriters have done in the past is key. Look for people like Gary Halbert, John Carlton, Bob Lye. Those are great copywriters that you can actually research their top sales letters and get an idea from. 
You could also do a Google search for top copywriting swipe files and you can actually use these swipe files and get ideas for sales copy things that you can add into your copy. The old sales copy from the old newspaper ads and old magazine ads, it's some of the best material out there for finding high quality copywriting that you can do. Another thing I like to do is look at the top converting products on ClickBank and you'll see those. They're the most popular products on ClickBank for a particular category. Another good strategy is when you're writing sales copy, apart from you know just studying the effective copy, but after you guys have written your sales copy, and I'm giving you a brain dump of information for writing your first sales letter, and you can start by just you know going through each one of these. Start with your headline, draw people in with your story, and just go down this list here of all the components of your sales copy. Poor grammar or bad spelling, it's going to crush your credibility online. So make sure you are proofreading and spending that time to proofread. Simple, you know, proofreading can actually really enhance your sales copy. Be unique within your copy, your unique selling proposition. Know what that is. Know what distinguishes you from the crowd. Is your training different? Is your training style? Think of the creative ways to differentiate yourself. Encourage them to buy from your other competitors first and let them know that they'll be back to buy from you. You can actually be that bold if you wanted to as well. Test your copy. Get traffic going to your sales page, whether it's from affiliates or paid traffic, and really track your conversions and sales. Know how your conversions are. Know how many people are buying your products. Know how many people you know are taking action on it. And once you know your numbers, then you can really enhance your copy, changing the headline, adding in a bonus, adding in bullet points. All those types of things help and assist you in creating a really good product. So the guarantee is, you know, offer a money back guarantee for your offer of at least 30 days. That's really important. ClickBank requires at least 30 day guarantee, sometimes 60 days. And so you may as well include it. The, you know, the big platforms like JVZoo and ClickBank highly suggest it. ClickBank, um, it's a, you know, a must that you must have a guarantee. And so you may as well use it in your sales copy. It takes away the doubt in the reader's mind. So make sure you do that. And here's an example of a sales letter. And the reason I want to show this to you is because as you create your letter, I want you to envision this because for this lesson, I want you to start writing your sales letter in a Word document or in a notepad file so you can start to create and piece together your sales copy for your product and your sales copy does not need to be as long as mine is here it can be short and sweet it's all a matter of getting started with understanding good copywriting so you can see here it starts with the headline so that's the opening of my copy it's got a good headline and a good good sub headline well as well and you notice this headline you could actually swipe this you're about to learn the exact blueprint for building an enormous list of Hungry buyer. So you could change that. You're about to learn the exact strategies for finally having your dog trained within weeks instead of years. You're about to learn the exact strategy and system that I followed to lose weight, gain a bigger following, and start to be more successful in my life and my relationships. Believe it or not, one simple list is all it takes. Believe it or not, one simple training course is all it takes. Warning, simplicity prevails. And then you, we open it up with a little story here. And you can see here that throughout the copy, you know, you're talking about your product. You've got the bold things that, that jump out. So I'm talking about a responsive list. Well, that draws my eyes there. So I start to read that. The next thing, you introduce your product with a really good, effective uh, product graphic. So you can do that. And then you introduce your product with bullet points as well. So you go through as you introduce the product with bullet points. Here's a testimonial here within this product. This video training series is exactly what anybody should use to make money online. You could say this video course is exact the exact strategies anybody should use to finally earn a living. You can change that. Um, you can see the subheadlines throughout. I've got bullet points, so you can get an idea of how bullet points are used effectively. You can see the subheadlines. You can see I'm even overcoming objections because they're probably thinking, well, this sounds like an expensive course, but I'm overcoming that. So I'm then you go over to how you're slashing the price. You give them a fast mover bonus. You've removed all the risk, the money back guarantee if they take action. 
you give them a recap of the offer that's really important that you recap it and then right here you give them a reason you know for why they should should purchase yes you put your name in there I want to secure my copy I understand I'm receiving this and then you go down um, to the list there's your PS uh, the PS field is really important to sales copy because it's here where you can actually sell them on additional benefits and so you could say you know PS make sure you take action right now because this offer could be going away the price is increasing if you act right now you're gonna be that much closer to your dreams and your your goals so those are things you can add into the PS field there as well so this is an effective training let's start writing our sales copy right now